In this video, we will demonstrate how to create a custom parametric furniture family. So we'll begin on the uh, recent files page of Rabbit Architecture 2010. We'll go to New Family and we'll select furniture.rft, which is Rabbit Family Template. Hit open. And we'll come to uh, the family interface here on the reference level. Um, in the family editor, we'll see that we've got uh, reference level, ceiling level, a standard 3D view, and then um, some standard elevation views back, front, left, and right. In this video, we'll be creating a um, custom uh, compress table. Um, we're going to just go out to the web, to, a, to the internet find a, uh, a conference table to model from and then build um, some parameters to control the size and shape of that, uh, that uh, conference table. So let's go over to the internet here and I've got one pulled up. We're going to build a uh, Corsica executive conference room um, table here. It's basically an 18 foot uh, uh, boat shaped conference table. It's going to look something like we have here. Um, so we look at the dimensions here, and the table dimensions are uh, 216 inches, um, basically in this dimension, 216 inches wide, um, 54 inches deep, and 29 and a half inches um, high. Um, we don't have exact dimensions, so we'll just uh, do the best we can with it. Okay, back in Revit, um, I'm going to create some reference planes to control the dimensions that we discussed. Um, to control dimensions of uh, things like extrusions and things like that, we use reference planes, and we actually control the locations of the reference planes through parameters, um, not, um, you know, we don't. We wouldn't control the extrusions directly through the parameters. We would control the reference planes, which then the extrusions would be locked to those reference planes. So let's begin by uh, creating some reference planes here. We'll go to reference plane, and let's just place a couple out here to control um, the overall length of the conference room table. I'm going to basically draw it in this general shape. So let's put one out here. And let's put another one out here. All right, with those two reference planes drawn, what we'll do next is we'll go here and we'll do detail. And I'm going to put a line dimensions, and I'm going to go from the outside reference plane to the center reference plane to the outside reference plane. And then I'm going to put an equistat on them. Next thing I'm going to do is put in a, a line dimension another aligned dimension here and go from outside to outside. All right, we see that right now it's set to 6 foot 8. We're going to add a parameter to this. So let's select the dimension. We'll go up to label and say add parameter. Let's call this width. It's already set for, as a length parameter for us. We're going to leave this as a type parameter and we'll go down to dimensions. So now our width is set to six foot eight. We'll go up to types and we'll make this dimension to be our overall table dimension, which happens to be 216 inches long. Oops, excuse me. 216 inches, which is 18 feet long. Hit apply. Okay. We zoom out. We notice that our reference planes have adjusted to that new dimension. So they are now, those reference planes are now parametric. For the sake of reference, we'll go ahead and pull out our center reference plane. So first of all, I'm going to have to unpin this, and then I'll drag the ends out, just so that we can kind of see where it intersects with my outside reference plane, so this longest point. I'll then repin that reference plane so I can't accidentally move it. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add two horizontal reference planes, which is going to control the overall depth of our uh, conference table. So let's go in here and say reference plane. And again, I'm just going to throw some arbitrarily out here. One and two. Going back again to the detail, I'm going to do an align dimension, go outside to center, to 
outside, equal step, outside to outside. And then we'll put in a parameter on here, add parameter, and we'll call this one the uh, depth. Again, grouping this under dimensions, it's already set as length, we're going to leave it as a type. Our type, uh, um, excuse me, our, our depth um, from the cut is set to be 54 inches wide, so let's go in here and put in 54 inches. As soon as we hit OK, we'll see that our reference planes have adjusted accordingly. Next thing we'll do is we'll actually create an extrusion here um, that will uh, represent the tabletop surface of our conference table.